Uh, Greg, Greg Hans, he just loved throwing this word out, unreformed, uh, about you lot today. Do you see yourself as unreformed? Well, look, he would say that, wouldn't he? But the fact of the matter is the Labour Party under Keir Starmer is changed. We're ready for government. We're serious about governing. We're putting together the policy framework for the next Labour government. And we've got the Tories on the run. After 13 years, this tired, clapped-out government, they can have as many rebrands and reshuffles as they want. They are tired, they're out of ideas, they're clapped out. And the Labour Party is fighting fit and we're raring to go. Uh, well, look, we heard from the Prime Minister at the beginning of the year. He set out his five ambitions for the country. He really wants to try and tackle those NHS waiting lists. Uh, the Institute for Fiscal Studies has published a report today uh, and that is fairly damning of that plan uh, for the PM. It says the number of patients waiting for care will more or less flatline for the next 12 months. Would it be better under Labour? It would be better under Labour because remember where we were in 1997, a very similar picture. We inherited an NHS on its knees. We inherited record waiting times, record waiting lists. And in the 13 years of that Labour government, through investment, through reform, we drove down waiting times and waiting lists to historic lows. We had a guarantee that you would be seen within 18 weeks, not 18 months. And that's the kind of ambition we need for our country again. So what we've said is in the short term, we would use extra capacity across the health and care system, including in the private sector, as we did before, uh, while we build up that capacity in the NHS, training those extra doctors, nurses, healthcare workers and uh, professionals that we need to put the capacity back into the NHS and to put the NHS back on a sustainable footing. But these waiting lists, they're being hindered by the strikes, aren't they? We're seeing a number of uh, appointments and, and uh, operations being delayed because of them. And as we heard from Greg Hans, the new chairman of the Conservative Party, there were 160 Labour MPs out on picket lines last week. Well, look, these are Rishi Sunak and Steve Barclay's strikes. All they've got to do is sit down and negotiate. That's all we're asking. That's all the unions are asking. Sit down and have talks. Come to a compromise. The unions have their position. The government has their position. And actually, there's a large area where common ground can be found. But that takes the leadership of Rishi Sunak and Steve Barclay to sit down and negotiate. If they did that, the unions have already said they would call off the strikes. Why won't they? Um, look, it's a historic day in Parliament. Uh, President Zelensky is making a surprise visit to the UK. He'll be meeting the Prime Minister. He'll be also be addressing Parliament. I presume you will be there. What does that mean for the country, for you personally, uh, for Ukraine? I think it's a momentous day. Look, we, uh, across the political spectrum, stand fully with the Ukrainian people and indeed with the Ukrainian president, um, who has faced some of the uh, most atrocious hostilities from the Russian state. The, the invasion, the illegal invasion of Ukraine is something that we don't just all strongly object to. We are being practical with our assistance to Ukraine and it is brilliant that President Zelensky can come to the United Kingdom today to see some of his troops being trained up to address members of Parliament. It is a historic occasion and it reaffirms the totality of the United Kingdom across the whole of the political spectrum standing alongside the people of Ukraine and with them until they get the freedom from the oppression of Russia and the aggression of Russia. We stand with Ukraine is the message that should ring out from Westminster today.